Love by his DJ Colin Scott here from Vanity DJ Entertainment and today we got a different type different video. We got um uh it's like a tutorial video, like a slash how to on kill management as you, um in this episode. Um it's gonna be how to pick a speaker room, I can tell by the strap effect like that. Well no, it's on better than that usually. Uh you YouTube changes forever it is whenever you see this video. Then you record it down below. Anyway. Um, if you've seen any of my gig logs, right, you know I'll see, uh, I like mount, uh, my lights, like the, uh, my, uh, my power profile on the helper speakers, and sometimes, if it's a big gig, the Ellie, um, Ellie Tango by Acme. Um, I'll mount this on top of the speakers, so I don't have to take, um, like, a T-bar, due to the fact I, I did have one, but it's, like, it's absolutely crap. I, I'll do a video on that, right? Why it is crap one day. Um, that's not a bike. Um, so I don't have to take like my big overhead large rig um, set to put them in. Like, my, like, it's not trusting, but there's like an overhead T bar type thing. But like, mount on top of my deck stand. Anyway, um, the point of this video is to uh, show you how to make a speaker type loom. Um, so basically, you'll have uh, three cables in one, basically. Um, if you see like large stage productions, if you if you go on, if you um, work on stage, you know what it is by um, a stage box. Um, bit or a, I'm not too sure. A, a snake. I, I'm not too sure what is that is exact called, right? But it's like a stage box. It's basically um, to the side of the stage, right? There's like loads of different. There's like a patch panel. There's like 16 XLR inputs and like eight outputs or eight out. I don't know. And then there's like two, right? Which goes with one massive cable rather than 16 individual. Um, XLR cables going to the mixer. There's basically one long, thick cable connecting all into the uh, mixer board. So um, basically, I'm going to show you how to make um, like a speaker loom for uh, two power cables to the power, power speakers. If you've got power speakers anyway, that is like I have the QTX QRC 12As, um, like then an audio. So this is the thing, and what you'll need for this is obviously the speaker. The largest, like the largest distance away um, power cable. So I'm not too sure which is on my lights, but I, I'm not I'm not too sure because like this is like quite compact. This probably the way down. See, like that's like the or that's on the bottom. So I'm not too sure which is going to be the um, like longest way from the power cable needs to reach. So we'll have a look. I also forgot what you also do need. You need the speaker, the light you mount in the largest way. Um, you might need extension leads, IC cables, audio cables, and of course, Bluetooth Caribbean Crush. It's not a product placement, but I recommend you should have this because it's a lovely day out, right? It's about 22 degrees in Wales. In Wales now, which is quite rainy on time. I say quite rainy, it is always raining. Um, it's the Caribbean Crush to heat dehydrated out because it's a lovely drink, kind of reminds me of summer. So yes, basically the way you want to start is by just putting the speaker on top of the tripod to the usual height of what the speaker would be. Usually I like to put my speaker right on um, on two, well, actually there's a three. But um, basically if you use scrims the way I do, right, I, I don't know. Basically to mount your speaker as high as you would in a gig, um, in a usual gig. Yes, I actually change it because I don't usually mount my speakers on 3i. Um, I actually um, don't want to do it on 2. Anyway, so mount the speaker as you would mount there anyway, like, you know, in the gig. So my pref my personal preference is too high, like too that high. So basically what you want to do now, right, is basically attach your largest light, which are, in my case is either going to be the Ellie Tango or this, so I'm gonna mount them both and then see which one is like the highest away, um, highest IEC away from the flag. Um, quick tip: when you get um, like selecting your IEC cables, because I've um, already organised my cables into uh, like the lengths. For example, I got a green one here, I got a red one there, I got a yellow one there, and somewhere I got a blue one in, in there somewhere in that big giant mess. Oh, I'm taking my RCA cable that I'm gonna use now. Chuck it over to one side. In there somewhere is a blue one when you up oh, there's a blue one left right there. Um actually select the like the two longest well like one of the longest ones and one of the slightly shorter ones. For example, in mine I've got like I didn't know which is shorter now because I've messed it up. 
Oh, I don't know. In my um, measuring, like, day that youngest. Hang on, I'm gonna show you. Right, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, put my notes and then see. I go. Um, I'd be. I don't know. I don't need that. I need just a folder in the camera. So yeah, I got X logs yellow, and then L is red, and then A medium is green, and then small is blue. Right, so X large is yellow. Let's have a little look then. If X large is actually yellow, X large yellow speaker. I know this is my longest one. So this is my X large one. So what other colour do we say? This the green one is supposed to be the medium. And yes, it is. See, it's not. I don't know. I I've messed it up. See, I'm only in the same up here. So, I don't know. So basically, try to select your longest cable and your slight, well, select one's bigger than the other, basically. Uh, I'm trying to have a little soon. But I've overcome my problem. I selected my cables. As you can tell, I got two yellows and two reds, and they both match in. So, in other words, right, my IC, my speaker room is going to be identical apart from the left and the right one, which is going to be distinguished by my RCA. You cut them cool like that. Um, yes, yeah, so as you know, the Caribbean Crush is open, I've got very little left, so yeah, <laughs> I still haven't done that. So basically, once you've got all your cables, I'm going to put these down, like right there, um, gear, your lights, and then basically mount it on top of the speaker by the net. So I'll, so I'll get back to as soon as I've done so, yeah, that. I mounted the, um, the light on top of the speaker, and to, to my surprise, it's the mega bar profile. Anyway, they, they were about the same it was, but because of like this is slightly over, that's like further away from uh, this IC. Anyway, so basically, um, take uh, two cables. So in my case will be a like a red, which uh, that's not be a speaker, but I can be a speaker. Um, a red. Basically, take two other different cables and plug like short dust into the speaker along this into the mega bar profile. I've actually decided to change what size um, IC I've got. See, I've took off um, the the red one, right? I actually put a blue one on it, right? Because it's the, like more length. See, see how it works? So basically find a cable, it's not that much of words, but find a cable that's like about the same length as that. Because if I put uh, like this one, right? Like, what is it? Um, like, in other words, right, this would be like down here and it'd be like stupid, stupid muscle length of flex. So basically, find two cables that actually work roughly together. Another thing that I forgot when I first started this, I've mentioned in the video, you might need some gaffer tape and an extension lead, which is going to be down here. Hang on. You stay with me. It's an extension lead. So basically, you can attach the extension lead or to the speaker, to big stand in my case, um, to actually get some lens. So yeah, the next thing you want to do is plug in your RCA cables, but um, I'm not actually using directly into the RCA, I'm actually using the RCA to coat in the adapters. It be plugged in into this one, this top one, which is going to be plugged into there. And then I'm going to unplug this. Can't even get it on. You've got that in lovely. Um, if you might want to like gaff tape this up, which I will now, actually not gaff tape, um, electrical tape, make sure you use electrical tape on this project, not gaff tape like that, I use gaff tape to stick this in like there. Um, so basically now you've stuck that in, all you need to do is like group all the wires together, right, so it's nice and tight, and I basically, you know, you know make, make a loom basically by sticking them all together. So uh, once I've done mine, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Um, so I'm back and I made the speaker room. I'm not that happy with it, but it's well, I, I got two, I got another one to me, like because I haven't done like that, that match for last year, yeah, so yeah, going up there. Anyway, this is what it is, yeah. Um, it splits off and it splits off and it splits off. It's basically it, yeah, so it's basically that. Uh, let me show you what unplugged, unplugged, so that's dangling. So then you unplug this, unplug it from the speaker. Oh, let's get out of the then unplug that, then 
unplug the top one, get all buttons on my iPad. Then you can unclip the top one. And then this big fuck off cable is coming with it there. See, it's like much quicker to set up, I must say. So, hang on, if I'm uh, hang on, hold it, hang on. I'll rotate the camera. Um, you won't be rotated, but you can see how fast I'm taking the set up. But I know you, um, you can't exactly see the speaker, but you can see this. Uh, so basically, it goes in. And um, yeah, let's go. One, two, got the low one, and then it comes in, in it goes, and then that goes in, and then it goes in up the top then, and then it's done. And then that's the speaker set up. So then basically, it's, it's, it's quite quick. It's literally quick as fuck. Which I recommend doing speak to the speaker, speak alone, I guess. Um, it's quite nice. You can like decorate like different colour um, <laughs> electrical tape, like a bit of black and a bit of blue and then whatever. Like black, and blue, black and white, or whatever. You know, deck. Oh my god, wow. Um, as you can see, I put a bit of um, a bit of tape um, on the yeah, as well, because like to stop the adapter coming out of the RCA. Um, so yeah, I'll make the other one right then we'll do it and I'll do a demonstration on like how to make them look and well. I want to do a demonstration you work it off yourself, but I'll make a nice one so you can see it as well. And then the second one and it looks a lot nice nice to look. Like a nice you know, it's not is that not exactly flat, but it's flat on the other one. Um it goes up and it comes up. And see I've done a one continuous has one continuous strip bars of on the let's go take. Um like it's just one continuous, so it splits off and then it splits off. Hang on. Oh yeah, I'm still remove I didn't actually check if I can remove that when I done it. Um and then that one just splits off and there's no PVC up here. Just the bare wire. And then it comes down and joins in. The other thing. And then this one does and then it goes in. Um if you want to go a step further, you can obviously um like gaff tape the um the RCA to the extension needs. That's if you're using extension needs and then run that down because I use run all my um, power basically um like say my deck and I have like a master um surge protector. Oh I don't know about that. Ooh that's weird. I have like a surge protector um power um two of them one for audio one for decks and like dim because I got very little decks. Well yeah I got like three decks and then you know but mostly like that. Anyway, um, like this right will go into the um the the audio surge tower. So uh, because it's under my deck stand, you can basically attach um this like that, so like this, and then that the plug, you know, will be plugged into the surge tower, and the RCA obviously into the mixer. Um, if you want, if you want to take like a step further again, you can basically run um the the DMX and and power out if you really must. But um, like the it will come, the DMX will come up and uh, around and then back down the room. But since I run um, these lights only on um, some active and it's on this mod, and plus these and not require DMX, so it's not really points. Um, I'm not actually going to run the DMX cable up here until I actually get like a uh, proper like into all my DMX, so I'm like like stupid amounts of fucking you know, park hands and stupid amounts of scanners, you know, moving heads or whatever. Then I might consider redoing the speaker loom like, to include the DMX cables. But for now this is basically it. And I'll show you from the um from the front view. It just looks like one single cable. And you know we can because it's not actually going anyway. But you can you know tidy it up by just you know by making it look nice. You can obviously change the colour of this. Um, to a black one so it looks even tidier again but because I haven't actually found any of, black, any, any of my black ones because my mother's nicked them all so I've got to be in the TV apart from like that one but they, um, yeah she nicked all my black ones where well, I only had one well two I did but one but for the end one to get up in or like I said up in better decks and I don't want to unsaid it so you know but yeah, um, obviously you want to take a step further, DMX, the um, bar looms together, obviously DMX will be included in that. Um, 
Oh, my phone is going off and I'm just, uh, I got a Snapchat and I'm gonna blank that out. Well, actually, no, it's another DJ. He DJ to make a vlog, Lewis Sheldon, adding everyone, spamming the way we want. Um, so yeah, basically it. Um, I'll have a little check if this works my tango, so I always it does. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm kind of <laughs> Um, yeah, so that, this is basically it, so um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I actually forgot to um, in, uh, include something, but I'm not actually using the park and the just unplug it, I think I like flopped down there. So, you know, it is, it is a happy way of waiting to wear. So, yeah, um, now I'm going to say thank you for watching and goodbye.